No, Kimmy, you won't have the drink. A favourite moment for many fans watching the 2018 Hungarian Grand Prix, but not so good a moment for Kimi Raikkonen after his hydration system was disconnected, preventing him from accessing his beloved and much needed water. Now it is the festive season, so here at GP fans, we are having a drink, but we're talking about how F1 drivers get their drinks in the cockpit of the Formula One cars they love to drive. How exactly does this system work and why is it so important? We'll investigate all of that in this GP Fans special. Before we do, let's just click that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with everything that we produce here at the channel. But now it's all about having a drink in F1. Cheers. Let's start by answering the second question first. Why is being hydrated so important? Well, a Formula One Grand Prix lasts an average of two hours. Now that's manageable without water, particularly in normal circumstances. Sometimes that's definitely true, but it's not always true when it comes to being on track. Formula One drivers wear fire resistant undergarments and fire resistant racing overalls. Add to that the gloves, a balaclava, the helmet, and sweltering temperatures during races in Bahrain or Singapore, and you can imagine how warm it becomes. And quickly, F1 drivers get very, very sweaty in their cockpits. The engine also generates heat, of course, and the temperature in the cockpit can quickly rise to well above 50 degrees Celsius. The importance of enough moisture. Drinking enough water is therefore very important. In fact, not getting enough fluids can even be dangerous. Formula One drivers sometimes lose litres of fluid during a Grand Prix. Three litres is nothing too crazy, but it is important to replenish it to prevent dehydration symptoms. Sergio Perez, for example, had his hydration system fail during last season's Grand Prix in Texas, one of the most challenging and intensive circuits for many drivers. Halfway through the second stint, it started to get difficult. I started to lose strength, said the Red Bull Racing driver after the race. Physically, this was my toughest race ever. The drinking system. But where is the water bottle hidden? It's not like the water bottles that perhaps we take to the gym on a regular basis. If we go to the gym on a regular basis. It differs for everybody. As with everything in Formula One, this system has been overhauled several times over the years. In the premier class of motorsport, weight saving is of great importance. So every time a lighter system has been devised, things have been overhauled. However, this system is, on most teams, a lot simpler than the rest of the car. Often a water bag is simply attached in the cockpit. There is a pump on it with a hose that runs through the helmet to the mouth of the driver. By pressing a button on the steering wheel, water flows through it. You can even see it if you look closely on a race day, almost this snake-like tube going into the driver's helmet. Concentrated water. Now this hydration system, like all other parts, will sometimes not work. In the less intensive races, this isn't always an immediate problem, but on some circuits, it can be a real disadvantage or even perhaps dangerous. Formula One drivers therefore often drink one and a half liters of water before a race. Now you can suddenly understand a lot better why quite often we see the drivers nipping off to take a pee before the race or perhaps even peeing in their seat during the Grand Prix. Not every driver drinks normal water as it comes out of the tap either. Some choose a highly concentrated version with glucose and extra vitamins and minerals and electrolytes. However, nothing is mandatory in this area, so it certainly varies from driver to driver what they choose to intake during the Grand Prix. So now you know why it's so important to stay hydrated during a Formula One Grand Prix and why drivers, when they are suffering from dehydration, find it so difficult and certainly need to replenish those electrolytes and that water once they get out of the car. Let us know your thoughts on hydration in Formula One in the comments section below. And of course, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything we do here at GP Fans.